In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a data table in Google Sheets. Now, data tables are automatically inserted when you're using Excel. So we're going to try and do the same thing as in Microsoft Excel table right here. So first, what we're going to try and do is to apply our alternating colors. Let's select our range, go to format and select alternating colors. On the right, you have the different colors that you can choose from. Once you've chosen, just click on done. The next step would be to freeze our header or our first row so that even though we're scrolling up and down, the header will stay in place. So all we have to do is to drag this down right here and there you have it. Our next step would be to add filters into our data table. Select your range, go to data and click on create a filter. So now you have a filter for each column on your table. Next, we can name our table by naming our range. So select your range, go to data and select named range. On the right, you'll see the named range, which we have our selected range already and rename our range. Let's go ahead and do that. Once you're done with your name, just click on done. And there you have it. Now for the last part, we have a total purchase right here. Now let's say that's not the end of our data table. We are going to keep updating it and we're going to keep inputting some information. So let's say we're adding new information right here. And as you see, our alternating colors continues as we add on to our data table. Let's try this one. And as you see, as we've added this to components right here, it didn't total our purchase. So in order to fix that, let's delete this one and fix our formula. So what we're going to do is use the array formula right here. And to compute for a total purchase, we're just going to multiply our quantity with our price. We're going to go ahead and do that. But we're also going to use an open ended cell reference to make sure that whatever we add into our data will still be computed as we add it. And there you have it. We have computed for a total purchase. Now, if you do again, how to add more below, it will automatically compute for it. And again, as you continue to add more into your data table, the alternating colors will also continue. And that's how to make a data table in Google Sheets. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.